In some ways, centers have become the most difficult players in the league to evaluate. Their front court partner's role has wildly changed. They are not as defensively important as a couple of good wing defenders. Their positional strengths look wildly different from one player to the next. And in crunch time, their counterparts are often played right off the court. Their position is not quite in the midst of an evolutional change, but they're not exactly stagnant either. So, these players in the league today sit dead in the center of a positional void, therefore making them wildly misunderstood to the common and intense fan. I am here to shine a light on players like this, those who I believe are misunderstood, giving you a complete look at what a player truly is, what they do right, what they do wrong, and everything in between. This week, that player is Clint Capella. Have a hard time with our Hello! And Capella does it again! Clint Capella was not supposed to be this good. He bounced from group home to group home in the undesirable parts of Switzerland as a kid, knowing nothing but soccer until he was 13. Just 10 years later, Capella is a huge piece of what the Rockets hope to be a championship caliber puzzle. First, and by far most importantly, Capella knows his role. He does not beg for post touches, complain about shot attempts, or do anything but soak up every opportunity he has to improve. He is so good because he knows what he is good at and knows what he is not good at. One thing he is great at is defense. He is currently fifth in total blocks, third in defensive rebounding percentage, and has contested the eighth most shots in the NBA. His strongest asset is his ability to switch onto a guard without panicking. He is remarkably athletic and quick on his feet, and often gets a good contest when smaller guards attempt to take advantage of what they believe to be a mismatch. This is vastly important for the Rockets, as their defense is based around switching, and the necessity for every player to be able to guard 1 through 5. Opposing teams have a hard time playing him off the court because of this, thus allowing the Rockets to have more length than most other teams in crunch time. Clint Capello is also growing as a shot blocker, and has shown really encouraging signs throughout the year but he still has a tendency to whiff on attempted block shots, and sometimes gets out-muscled despite him gaining weight. Offensively, his job is fairly simple. Catch lobs and put the ball in the hoop, close to the hoop. He has added several nuances to his offensive game, however. He is now a much better finisher around the hoop when not dunking. He can even catch a pass from James Harden several feet away from it and make his way to the rack. This allows Harden to have a wider range when looking to pass, instead of just that tight window close to the hoop. He is able to get to the basket in a few ways. His favorite is the Euro step, which he adopted from his bearded brother. He holds the ball high and bounces his legs from one side of the paint to the other. He is also able to pull off a hop step into a hook shot that is pretty efficient. And he also has a close floater when the paint is packed and he has to find some way to get the ball into the hoop. When off the ball, he moves with purpose. He has a way of never being egregiously in the way of a ball handler. He moves throughout the court in effective ways that create spacing. One of the moves he has become particularly good at is when he stands baseline and an action is occurring without him. He knows the exact moment when to cut to the hoop when James Harden has found his way past the first line of defense and creates opportunity where there should be none. Away from the paint, he does not contribute much. He cannot shoot well and there is a noticeable hitch in his jumper as if he is shooting on the way down that is even more significant when he is seen in person. He'll likely not be a threat from outside the paint anytime soon, and that is alright with the Rockets who openly hate long twos. I still believe he has some underdeveloped skills as a passer, but he is not utilized much in that way. He has the tendency to miss the easy pass, and he sometimes gets laser vision when rolling to the hoop. He will, however, surprise you once in a while with a nice pass, but the Rockets cannot use him yet in the high post like many teams use their centers. One day that may become an option for the Rockets, but not just yet. What is most surprising about all of this is that he is racking up all of these stats and adding so much value to the Rockets while playing just 27 minutes per game. He has played 419 fewer minutes than Steven Adams and yet has more total blocks, rebounds, and free throws while having just 7 fewer assists and 12 fewer points. Clint Capella has a lot more to offer and many more years in this league. He was never supposed to be this good, but he may just be better.